Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here, and that was the beautiful Vivo Grand that you just heard being played on the Dexabel S1. Now, Dexabel has a brand new uh, keyboard coming out, the S9. Now, I don't have that here. I probably won't have that for a while because it just got released and right now we're in the beginning of august and it won't even be available here in the united states until around the first of september and i bring this up because this is a keyboard that is so new and so competitive and so capable i mean it, it is a first in a lot of different things and it's a lot like Nord, only it's blue. This is the S1, it's blue. And it seems like Dexabil is heading the blue route instead of the red route. But it has so many similarities to Nord that it's unbelievable. And it also has taken the market in a separate direction. It has offered things that aren't available in any keyboard yet. It has nine motorized faders. And those faders serve as multiple purposes. They serve for organ, for your nine stops. And it serves as a mixer, and it serves for MIDI control, and for EQ. And you can save all of these settings as different scenes. So you can recall them any time. So when you recall something, you see all the faders come back to where they were. It has a brand new Fatara Action. This is the TP400W, brand new, developed specifically for Dexabel. You know how Nord also uses Fatara, but they individually tweak every keyboard there and they calibrate it so it's basically belongs to Nord. Whatever key action they're using from Fatara, if you put that into a Kurzweil and use the same thing in a Nord, they're going to feel a little bit different because Nord tweaks their own. Well, this is a brand new key action from Fatara made specifically for Dexabel. This is the TP400W. And what it is, it's a hybrid keys in that it's a wood on the sides and plastic, has ebony and ivory feel. And it just feels really good. Now, when I was at Winter Nam 2018 in Anaheim earlier this year, I saw the S9 being demonstrated, but when it wasn't being demonstrated, it was cast to the side and it wasn't hooked up to anything. So there was no power. You couldn't turn it on. I couldn't play it, but I did manage to play around with the keys and it is a little bit different. You could tell right away it's different. What it actually feels like and sounds like and the user connection and all that I have yet to experience. But since this is brand new, it's not even available in the United States yet. I can only anticipate. So that's what this video is about. It's the S9 anticipation video. And as a Dexabel reseller, I can offer you a really good price on this. But we'll get to that a little bit later in the video. So let's go over what the S9 would have. Okay. So I mentioned the nine motorized faders. There isn't another keyboard on the market that has motorized faders except for Behringer, and that's just a 49 key controller. This is an 88 key full-fledged keyboard, not just controller, but full-fledged keyboard with all the sounds built in. Now the entire Vivo family has 85 sounds. It's got all that too, but it has an additional bunch of sounds built in too. It has the organ sounds built in from the Combo J7 and the Classico L3 keyboards from Dexabel. And those are nothing to balk at. They'll, those are really, really good. If you haven't heard that, check that out. All right. XLR balanced outputs in addition to standard quarter inch left and rights. Uh, unlimited polyphony, just like the rest of the Dexabel line with 320 oscillators and so on and so forth. Long samples, which are 
15 seconds, and then in some cases even longer. 24-bit, 48 kilohertz audio. It uses a combination of sampling and modeling, so right away you know this is going to stand out from the rest. Memory bank, one and a half gigabytes of user memory or sample memory. State-of-the-art digital piano and organs all in one unit. Yeah, I know that Nord has been doing this for a long time with their stage series. They've got piano, organ, and synth separated into three sections, and they do that very well, I might add. And they're constantly adding new samples so that you can download those from the Nord site and put them on your Nord keyboard well, Dexabel is doing the same thing. They keep coming up with new samples you can download from the Dexabel site and put onto your Dexabel. And in addition, they support sound font files, which you can get anywhere on the internet. So right away, that opens up a whole new world for you. Unbelievable. And again, like a lot of the manufacturers are doing seamless patch changes. So I can demonstrate here his piano. Here's an electric piano. Chord. So it's seamless. While one is fading out, the other is being brought in. It supports Bluetooth, so you can kind of broadcast this and it'll play through its lineouts. Uh, also has a, an app for iOS for your iPhone or iPad, and basically it's an app that goes along with this and can help you out with a lot of stuff. Now, when it comes down to effects, there's no shortage there. 24 different reverb effects alone. And then you've got um, things like rotary and overdrive and vibrato and chorus for organ plus eight independent DSPs times 17 types. That's two times for main, two times for couples, two times for lower, and two times for pedal, and all using seamless changes, and everything on the board is laid out logically. Now, connectors on the back, you've got output balanced XLR left and right, and unbalanced jacks for left, right, mono, uh, quarter inch type. You've got four different pedal assignments, foot one through four. Foot one is a progressive damper action pedal with sympathetic resonance simulation. Foot two is function assignable. You can make it whatever you want. Foot three is an expression pedal slash function assignable again. And foot four is a morphing pedal, or though you can use it to assign whatever function you want. And it's cool on, the fo on foot pedal four as a morphing pedal. So you set it up as a morph, and basically, I don't. Have, I wish I had an S9 here to show you, but the nine motorized faders. As you step on the pedal and move it back and forth, the faders move back and forth in unison with that. That is so cool. Then you have MIDI in, out, and through for your standard legacy MIDI stuff, and USB MIDI. So you've got two host for MIDI and digital audio in and out, and two device for your computer. Then there's an aux input jack, which is basically a stereo input jack that you can use from your iPhone or iPad or any other smartphone when you're playing MP3 files or whatever. All this in an attractive 20 kilogram package, 44 pounds US, and the end panels on that, they're blue, but they are wood. So we're using real down-to-earth materials for this. And 
I am so impressed with that. Now, you might want to go to dexabel.com, choose the language that you're interested in. For me, it's English. And go ahead. There's a user manual already online for download for the S9, so you can take a look at what it's like. And for the rest of this video, I'm going to show you or play some samples that are included or available with the S9. And the quality of that just blows me away. So, samples to follow. In the meantime, Piano Man Chuck, hope you found this informative. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Thank you.